Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to connect an Xbox controller, whether it's an Xbox One or whatever controller really doesn't matter, to any PC. Now this specifically works for Windows, it could work for Mac too. I'll probably, you know, let you guys know in about 10 minutes when I do that video. Now I am running Windows on a boot camp for my Mac, so if it works on here, I'm pretty sure it'll work on any Windows machine. Now you want to quickly look at your Xbox controller and see whether it does have Bluetooth or not. And one way you're able to tell that is if your Xbox One controller, which I'm pretty sure all of them support it, is if the Xbox logo, if there's black plastic running down here, then your controller may not support Bluetooth. But since this one's Xbox logo is in the white portion, then I'm pretty sure we're set. And I've already done this, so it works before and it'll work again. So all you want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings panel on your Windows machine. So you can literally just type in settings and just click enter. And once you're here, you want to go to the device manager, which is right here. You want to go ahead, you want to go ahead and click in. And now you'll see this add Bluetooth or whatever. You just want to click that. Now from here, you might be deceived and you'll see Xbox controllers with wireless adapter or whatever. You don't necessarily want to click that. You only want to click that is if your controller did not support Bluetooth, as you can see mine does. So you want to click on the Bluetooth setting right up here. Now at this point, all you want to do is you want to hold down the Xbox logo right here and the share button up top. And you just want to hold that down until your controller starts blinking. As you can see, it's starting to blink, and at some point, it'll start getting detected on my, as you can see, I've already, I've already paired it up before, so I'm going to go ahead and click cancel. I'll go ahead and try it again and see what happens. And as you can see, my Xbox Wireless controller is picked up by my MacBook or by my PC, so I'm going to go ahead and click it. Some few things, as you can see, I got a little setting up device panel right here. And at this point, once this is blinking white, then you're pretty much set. So you can go ahead and click done. Now this is very, very important. Once you are connected, you want to go ahead and move the joystick and move these things around and see if the Windows machine does move those things around. If it does, then you're set. If it doesn't, then you might have an issue, which we can discuss later and just leave a comment in the comment section. But that's pretty much it. You can load up any games. You can load up Fortnite, whatever you want to. And you should be able to play it with an Xbox controller, which is really, really awesome. So that's really pretty much the process. If you guys run into any other problems or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So thanks so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my main channel. All those links are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out to them.